Hey guys, what's going on? What's Homer Millen here today? And today I'm gonna to be bringing you the $200 binder challenge video. So the rules of this challenge are, I start with $200 USD. I'm not gonna count sales tax on any of the items that I buy, uh, but I will count shipping. Rule number two, I start with nothing. So I had to buy these sleeves, I had to buy the binder, I have to buy everything, okay? I'm starting with absolutely nothing. Number three, I'm only gonna be buying things at retail prices. I'm not gonna be buying off eBay, trying to get some deals on lots or auctions or something like that. I'm not gonna be buying off of Instagram or, or you know, using crazy pre-orders to, to judge my prices, nothing like that. Rule number four is that I'm only gonna be going after first edition near mint copies or unlimited near mint copies uh, if, there's a huge differential between first edition and unlimited edition. So this was a ton of fun to make, as I said before. Um, if you guys wanna show me what you guys would buy with $200, say you had to start from scratch, let me know what you guys would build with $200. But without further ado, let's get into it. So as you guys can see, I went with this card guard red binder. This cost $13, okay? so. You know, already $13 off the map, got it off of Amazon. So it was free shipping with Prime. <clears throat> so we're starting off with $13. And then I bought packs of sleeves. So I ended up using around 70 sleeves uh, for these Egyptian God sleeves made by Konami. It's about 10 cents a sleeve. So they came out to around $7. All right, now moving on to the actual cards that we bought, starting off with the least expensive and moving to the most expensive. Everything here was bought off TCG player. So we start off with a playset of green text Harpy's Pet Dragon. These combined for about $2.50, very cheap. Next card is Dragon Spirit of White. This one cost me around $3. Next, we have a playset of cards. Oh, I spoiled it. We have Card Trooper. Playset of that cost around $3.50. Next up, we have eight cards that combine for a whopping total. That's all eight. These eight white hole secret rares out of legendary collection Kaiba cost $4.50. Next card, we have one, two, three, Dunam's Dark Witch or Dunamis, depending on you know whatever floats your boat. These five or these three cards cost five dollars combined. Next up, we have Five Headed Dragon Secret Rare, and this one cost five dollars. All right, next up we have a playset of cards. We have oh, we actually have just two. We have Cybersteins, Secret Rare, out of Battles of Legend. These cost $5.50. After that, you probably already had it spoiled for you, but we have eight Burst Stream of Destructions out of Legendary Collection Kaiba. These eight cards combined cost $6. So very, very nice for what they were. So now we go into the next playset of cards, we have Slifer the Sky Dragon, Secret Rare, out of Speed Duel Battle City box. You guys can see the Speed Duel imprint right there. These combined for $7.50. Very nice to always get a god card like that. Next up, we have two Tin Blue Eyes White Dragons. These together cost $8. Next up, we have quite a few. We have eight Jinzo Super Rares out of Mystic Fighters, so that's six, eight. So we have eight of them and they cost $8 combined. Very, very nice. Next up, we have Jinzo Secret Rare out of the Speed Duel Battle City box. Beautiful first edition Secret Rare. This one cost $9. Next, we have my favorite card that I bought. This is an original 2002-2003 unlimited printing of Gaia the Dragon Champion. It's the one card that I bought in unlimited instead of first ed. Uh, pretty obvious why the first edition version in near mint would cost you probably like a thousand dollars. I'm not even kidding on that, but if you'll notice this has a full hollow bleed throughout the entire card. It is quite beautiful 
and I'm very happy to have this. This is definitely my favorite card from the entire video. Next up, we have three morphing jars. These combine for about $10, which is quite nice to get these tournament pack, or OTS pack, excuse me, morphing jars. Next up, we have five first edition Dark Magicians out of Yugi's Legendary Deck. Beautiful card. These combined cost around 11, or $10, excuse me. Next up, we have three Dark Armed Dragons combined. These three Dark Armed Dragons cost $10. Beautiful card again. All these are beautiful cards, that's why I picked them. Next up, we have a playset of Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon combined. These Secret Rare First Edition cards cost $12. Next up, we have a playset again of Dragon Master Knight. Again, first edition secret rare. Combined, these cost $14. Next up, we have eight Blue Eyes White Dragons out of Legendary Duelist Season 2. Combined, these eight Blue Eyes White Dragons cost me $15. And then finally, the playset that costs the most, we have Blue Eyes Shining Dragon out of Legendary Collection Kaiba. These combine for $25. So these were definitely the biggest cards. Let me know what you thought and let's get into the display of all the cards inside of the good old card guard. So let's get into the binder. Moment of truth. Let's see how it all came together. Boom. So first page is, if we look at on the left, we put those Legendary Duelist Season 2 Ultra Rares. Let's take one out and show you guys. Beautiful Ultra Rare. So we did eight of those surrounding one of the 2017 Megatons Secret Rare Blue Eyes. Very, very nice looking card. Uh, and pretty cheap for what it is. And then we have our Legendary Collection Kaiba page right here so we start off with dragon knight dragon master knight excuse me up top we've got a playset of the secret rare out of lc casey next up we have blue eyes shining dragon you can't really go wrong with blue eyes shining and secret rare not quite the retro pra retro pack but still an absolute beauty very happy to have that one then we move on to the blue eyes ultimate dragon Another beauty. Stunning. Secret rare. So that completes our first page. We're not done with the blue eyes cards, though, as you guys will remember. So we've got another Megatins blue eyes, as you guys can see. A beautiful secret rare. Reminds me of the BPT blue eyes. Then we have our Burst Stream of Destruction secret rare out of Legendary Collection Kaiba. Very, very nice and so cheap for what it is. Then we've got our Yugi page that we're starting up. We've got a Speed Duel promo. Slifer the Sky Dragon. Awesome secret rare right there. Then we've got the big boy. My favorite card from the entire binder. We have the Bleeder. Look at that foil bleed on this thing. Goes all the way through the card. Original print. Such a good steal. My favorite card out of Legend of Blue Eyes. Very happy to have it. Then we have our five Yugi's Legendary Deck First Edition Dark Magicians. Awesome card. Beautiful. You know, for a Yugi card, you got to have that one. And these Legendary Duelist Season 2 Blue Eyes and the Yugi's Legendary Deck Dark Magicians really remind me of LOB cards. Uh, and they're so much cheaper. So... That worked out well. Next, we have our page of Jinzos, the super rares out of Mystic Fighters. I won't show those off up close. And then we have the Speed Duel Battle City Box Jinzo, which I will show off. So nice. First edition secret rare. Not quite the PSV one, but still a beautiful card nonetheless. Up top, we have our Morphing Jars. Super rare out of OTS 9. Beautiful card. Then we have our Cyberstein Secret Rares out of Battles of Legend, Heroes Revenge. 
card that I thought was going to be way more expensive than it actually was, so I was happy to see that. Then we've got the Big Bad Five-Headed Dragon out of another Battles of Legend Hero Revenge. Hero's Revenge, excuse me. Very, very nice. Then we've got the playset of the Big Bad Dark Arm Dragon. What an iconic monster, and we've got it in that secret rare foiling. Not quite the Phantom Darkness secret rare, but still a beautiful card nonetheless. Super happy to have it. We've got three of those down there. Moving on, we've got our last two pages. We've got the White Holes. Beautiful secret rare for dirt cheap. Very nice and a nice way to fill out one of the pages with the Dragon Spirit of White secret rare in the center. This one is just an incredible foiling. Very happy to have this one and surprised that it is so cheap, as I was with a lot of the Kaiba cards. Then up top, we've got our Harpy's Pet Dragons with green text. Very, very nice. Ultra rare right there. Then we've got good old Card Trooper, another Battles of Legend, this time Relentless Revenge. Very, very nice and a cheap card. And then finally, to round it out, we have Dunamis Dark Witch out of Legendary Collection, Joey's World, First Edition, Ultra Rare. So let me know what your favorite cards were. I'll flip through this one last time from the beginning. And so let me know what your favorite cards were. Let me know which cards you thought I overspent on, underspent on the whole nine. And let me know what you guys would have done differently. So if you did enjoy this video, as always, make sure to like and subscribe. It took a little while to edit it. Obviously, it costs some money to buy all these cards. Um, so I really appreciate any support that you guys give. But without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Watomar Melon, and peace out.